understanding next generation sequencing and comprehensive genomic profiling for lung cancer. Comprehensive genetic profiling, or CGP, is a type of genetic testing. It helps find changes in genes called mutations that affect how cancers grow, spread, and respond to treatment. For example, CGP can find genetic mutations such as EGFR, KRAS, ALK, and others. It allows your doctor to look at the entire genetic landscape of a tumor. Next-generation sequencing, or NGS, is the technology used to do comprehensive genomic profiling, or CGP. It allows the profiling of multiple genes at once. This can give a broad overview of a tumor's genetic mutations. Treatments exist to successfully target the mutations that show up with CGP. Targeting them can slow or stop the cancer. Using NGS to do comprehensive genetic profiling helps doctors diagnose, monitor, and treat lung cancers. This is especially helpful for people with non-small cell lung cancer, or NSCLC. CGP can screen for hundreds of genetic biomarkers, helping doctors understand the tumor better and choose the best treatment options. It is helpful for finding mutations that can be targeted with specific drugs. Identifying specific mutations and viewing the tumor's genetic landscape can help doctors choose treatments to target the mutations. Targeted treatments can be more effective at destroying cancer cells than non-targeted treatments, and this can lead to a better outcome. Since they target cells with specific mutations, they also tend to leave healthy cells alone. This can mean fewer side effects from treatment. Once you start targeted treatment, doctors can use CGP, performed with NGS technology, to learn how the cancer is responding and find mutations that cause the cancer to become resistant to treatment. These are called resistance mutations. Finding resistance mutations and other information about your lung cancer response allows the doctor to adjust the treatment plan if needed. If a treatment is not working well or the tumor is becoming resistant, you may switch to a treatment that could be more effective. Talk with your doctor about comprehensive biomarker testing if you are diagnosed with non-small cell lung cancer. The National Comprehensive Cancer Network, or NCCN, currently recommends testing for genetic alterations in EGFR, ALK, ROS1, RET, KRAS, MET, Herb B2, NTRAC123, and PDL1 expression in non small cell lung cancer to learn which treatment may benefit you most. This testing can be done on a sample of tumor tissue called a tissue biopsy or a blood sample, which is called a liquid biopsy. Even with NGS technology, CGP does have some limitations. It's important to have enough high quality samples so multiple biopsies are sometimes needed to gather them. Interpreting CGP results can be complicated and requires experts in molecular pathology. The cost can be high, and private insurance or government health plans may limit the amount of testing they cover. It's important to know that some mutations found by comprehensive biomarker testing may not have a specific targeted therapy. To get the most benefit from these tests, you may want to talk with your doctor about testing for mutations associated with a successful targeted therapy. Both NGS technology and CGP are still advancing. Researchers are working to make comprehensive biomarker testing faster and more accurate. In the future, AI may help doctors interpret test results. This is likely to lead to even more effective and personalized cancer treatments. If your doctor suspects lung cancer, ask about comprehensive biomarker testing using NGS technology. There are certain mutations that doctors almost always test for, and these should be included in molecular profiling. If your doctor does not mention these tests, feel free to ask. The results can make a difference in your treatment options and success.